Minister of State with Responsibility for Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives, Senator Adrian Thomas, pledges government support in the development of a million-dollar poultry farm at Felix Park in San Andrew. The $2.5 million project is expected to be funded with support from the Grenada Development Bank and the farm's manager, Kyron Crossdale. Grenada Chick Inn Farm spans over nine acres and will consist of six large buildings and three small ones. The farm has a capacity to accommodate over 90,000 whole live birds and has the ability to produce 35,000 baby chicks per week. The operations of the farm will include hatching of eggs, processing and packaging of ready-to-cook chicken, as well as feed for local farmers. Minister for Agriculture Senator Adrian Thomas said this farm can make a huge difference in Grenada's poultry industry. The poultry issue is an issue that the Grenadians and the farmers in particular have been clamoring about and they really want to see some, some transformational agenda be applied. Mm -hmm. And um, what I'm seeing here and what I've seen in the other places, mm -hmm. um, it seems as though Grenada truly has the infrastructure to move that industry in, 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 in terms of um, getting it where it ought to be. Um, we, I fully am fully aware of the hurdles that the farmers are going through. I am of the opinion that Grenadians are addicted to chicken, mm -hmm. but we don't have enough. We don't. We have not been producing enough, mm -hmm. and therefore this is um this project is a is a is a project that the government will truly support. The testing phase of operation is due to begin in April. Manager Kyron Crossdale speaks of a 100 direct local employment opportunity between three divisions. He said there will be 70 jobs related to slaughtering, packaging, 30-ton capacity cold storage system and logistics, 15 jobs related to bird and poultry house management, 5 jobs related to hatchery factory, and 10 jobs related to feed production and logistics. The processing part is basically where we are now, where we'll be processing, packaging, and cold storage. So instead of country coal having to import, you know, five containers, we, we have a store of 30 tons, right? And we have two weeks, two months worth of production sitting and waiting behind that. So as they need, we can supply them accordingly. Mm -hmm. Not just country coal, the IGAs, the sandals, and the, the, the schools, right? So. I mean, there's nowhere to go and no need to go anywhere else. And if we can't produce enough, we have a hatchery. We, we can do 40,000 chicks now, but we're building the um, infrastructure to do 80,000 chicks. And therefore, we can grow all the, all the baby chicks, but other local farmers can. So therefore, we will supply them with the baby chicks and the feed, and then run a second shift here on the weekend. To do the extra slaughtering that we need to supply that with the rest of the market. Chief Vet and Livestock Officer Dr. Kimon Cummins, in seeking to control the concerns of small poultry farmers, says no one will be left behind. There's always questions, you know, what's going to happen with the smaller farmers? And I was happy to hear, um, you know, Mr. Crossdale saying that, you know, we start looking at a quote unquote vertical integrated model. So, you know, persons who would see this and start worrying, well, you know, Lord, where I'm going to sell my chicken? But then there's a, there's a room, you know, that, you know, we, and not just a room, but we, we, we're accommodating also the smaller farmers so that nobody's displaced from the, from the market. Um, we know what we have to do on our end. And um, as you know, we, we had lots and lots of conversation about what we're supposed to do, and we're in the process of doing so.